Hello lovely people, hope you're doing okay today. Today is going to be a very quick video. I'm going to show you a little trick that I did with a switch. So a lot of people already have done it and me personally, I did it only now. So um, sometimes when you're listening to music, you don't want to put the ignition on because like you have to, but it would be cool if you wouldn't have to. So um, the DSP is connected to the remote that comes from the factory head unit, like in most cases, yeah? And uh, when you turn on the ignition, then it goes live and then it starts working. The problem with this is that, is that, so this is a DC clamp, yeah? And this is my ground from the battery. So at the moment, with ignition on, it's drawing 9 amps. Yeah? No music playing, just on idle. 9 amps. If I clamp the power wire that goes to the amplifiers, it shows me 6 and a bit. So that means that 2.5 up to 3 amps is drawn only for the, for the car when the ignition is on. Yeah, and what's the point? You know, why? So what you can do is you can install a little switch. So I had these switches on both sides. I had them for uh, heated seats, but I don't use them anymore. And this basically is a three pole switch. So the black one is for an LED, but I don't use it. And it's a three position. So one, middle, one. And let me just turn off the ignition. So this is gonna go off. And what's happening is on the middle one, the middle pin is the remote wire that is going to your amplifier uh, or your DSP. So in my case, it goes to my DSP. And on one terminal, you put the normal remote, like from the head unit. And on the other one, you put a live wire that comes directly from, from the battery. And um, most, I don't know if all, probably all head units, if you go from the back, there's a wire, sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's red, and it's a live wire. Yeah, it's not a remote, but it's a live wire. So you just piggy tail uh, from that one and go into the switch. And now, so my ignition now is off. Yeah, no key in the car. And what I do, I flip the switch. So now it's all the one one of the positions is on uh, the remote this one the middle one is basically <coughs> it's not uh, powering anything so even if i put the ignition on the car turns on like that but the dsp it doesn't come on because it's it's not connected to anything so again i remove the ignition and click and it goes on the live wire and all my DSP is on. I don't need a key. And the ignition for the car is off. And what's happening now, I'm drawing, uh, show me. So it needs some time to boot up. The DSP takes time to boot up, but basically what's happening is, there we go, six amps on the power wire. And if I take the ground, which includes the car itself as well, exactly the same 6.8 amps. But before it was 9. So that means that car is, is basically all the amps, all the amp rack, everything is connected directly to life. Now, the plus side of this is that you don't need a key. You can chill without, you can listen to some music without ignition on and potentially you can listen to a bit longer because the car doesn't draw any current. The downside to this is like if you forget this, in the morning your battery is going to be dead. So the only thing is like now I need to remember, turn it off every time I leave the car. So why did I did this? I did this um, for, I'm going to go to Emma, you know probably that. And I was thinking how to demo the car for a tiny bit longer. So even if it's 3 amps of current, and we know that uh, when, um, when the music is playing on normal listening levels, it doesn't draw much current. 
So those three amps uh, is going to save me some time. So potentially I will be able to demo for a bit longer. So yeah, you can do that switch, three pole switch, simple, normal switch and uh, put it on live. Just don't forget to turn it off when you're done. Cool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.